In my last video, we were looking at a 16 by 32 foot swimming pool with a volume of 19,200 gallons. And we were looking at a filtration schedule where the pool owner has a one and a half horsepower ver or single speed pump and they run it eight hours a day. And doing so, they get about 38,000 gallons of water filtered daily. And what I had said in that video is that is not optimal. What you want to do is aim for three times the volume of the swimming pool filtered every day as your minimum value. And in that video, I compared the variable speed pump apples to apples to a 38,000 gallon filtration schedule. But I did mention in that video that I, I would do a follow up with something that I would consider to be a more optimal variable speed schedule and what that would look like. And basically what that comes down to is instead of having 38,000 gallons daily for this pool, I want to triple this number. So our filtration goal now, 57,600 gallons per day. And that should result in approximately 95% of all of the pool water being filtered at least one time. So the values that we're going to use here, this is, this is a pump Actually, let's take a look at that. The pump is set up for one and a half inch plumbing, a single section line, one and a half horsepower pump, 150 square foot cartridge filter. That line is isolated. We're only going through this inch and a half line through this digital flow meter, analog flow meter. Under maximum flow, what we see is that this system is approximately 40 feet of head resistance. And so that allows us to make some calculations. You can use a flow curve to determine what an average pump might get in terms of the flow rate. In terms of this pump, what we're able to experience with low, medium, and high speed RPM is 27 gallons per minute, 46 gallons per minute, and 65 gallons per minute. And it's important that you see that these are real wor world numbers. So let's take a look at the system running now. We've got the pump running at 1200 RPM. Just over 27 gallons per minute. Power consumption is about 173, 172 watts. And that's what we've got here. So you want to run your variable speed pump for long hours per day at low RPM values because of this reason right here. It uses very little power in, in operating and it still gets a pretty good amount of flow, like more than you would think in 12 hours of operation on this very low amount of power and RPM still results in 19,440 gallons of water that's filtered. It's a pretty impressive amount of water that you can filter over a long period of time, and it uses a tiny amount of power in doing so. You still need periods of time with a swimming pool every day where you have medium RPM, high RPM. Every pool is different. It's built differently, it has different peripheral devices on it. So this is a dynamic equation. This is just one example. But here we're looking at 2000 RPM and we're expecting to see about 500 watts at about 46 gallons per minute, which is what this system is able to achieve. Just over 46, almost 47, just over 500 watts. And over the course of eight hours, we're achieving 22,080 gallons. Now let's take a look at a period of high speed operation. Notice it's not highest speed. Even a small reduction in RPM has a massive difference in the amount of power consumed. You might be looking at 10 gallons per minute difference here, but you might be looking at hundreds of watts difference here, power consumption. So there is an advantage to backing off the throttle just slightly, so to speak. And that's why for four hours here, we're going to be at 2750 RPM. Let's take a look at that.
about nine and a half PSI. We have a vacuum gauge installed here, so we can see that. That's obviously some fluctuations there, but that's about seven and a half inches of mercury. So getting back to the flow rate here, 65 gallons per minute is what we're looking for. It's just about there, 65. 1,170 watts. 1.17 kilowatts as shown on this one, which is 1,170 watts. So over four hours, we're able to get 15,600 at the highest speed, resulting in 57,120 gallons per day. We were aiming for 57,600, but it's hard to get the number bang on it. I consider that to be uh, mission accomplished there, 57,120. So let's look at the power consumption for this. Because a single speed pump used 12 kilowatts of power to filter 38,000 gallons of water. That's the starting point here. That's the, I run my pump eight hours a day. 12 kilowatts per day, and you get 38,000 gallons for it. So with this optimized variable speed schedule, what you can see here is the, the this is the power calculation, 173 watts at 12 hours, 504 watts at 8 hours, 1170 watts at 4 hours, subtotals, and that is your total power consumption, 10,788 watts, which rounds up to 10.8 kilowatts. So there's your comparison right there, 12 kilowatts for 38,000 gallons of water versus 10.8 kilowatts less power consumed for 57,120 gallons of filtered water. Less power consumption, more filtered water, lower cost, more filtration. Seems like the answer is obvious. A definite win for variable speed pumps here. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.